My name is Romain Viguet. I'm the founder of uh, Herboreal, a company specialized in, uh, in ferrocumarine standard for analysis. We are the world, the world uh, most complete provider of the ferrocumarine. Um, so the ferrocumarine are important because they are natural toxins present in many uh, uh, vegetables we eat and uh, many of the cosmetic and, uh, and food and drink products that we, uh, we consume every, uh, every year. Um. Okay, so the, uh, the company started uh, from the University of Edinburgh uh, a few years ago, and um, we, we had the support from the Royal Society of Edinburgh uh, the university itself, Scottish Enterprise, uh, European Union, and Scottish Development Inter International. And we are exhibiting with them uh, today. So the reason we started this company is uh, because there were need in, in the cosmetic industries for analytical standard of furocumarine. And we were approached by uh, a big uh, uh, provider of, of perfume. Uh, to develop a whole range of, of, of products. Um, so the products have quite a simple structure, also that gives way to a large variety of, of these components. So if you look at the structure of the coumarine, they are all uh, issued from, from this structure, you, you get up to six uh, substituents. All these substituents could be from proton to O-methylated to uh, uh, isoprene, geranyl uh, and glycosyl, and so on. So if you imagine uh, all these different substituents on the same structure, you end up with thousands of natural products who all are uh, coumarin. The furocoumarin are based on the same structure with just a furan ring linked to it, either on the angular sh shape, like the angular furocoumarin, or linear, so you get two kinds of structure for furocumarine. Both are flat structure, they both uh, interlink, interlink um, with DNA, so they are both DNA intercalator. Uh, the linear furocumarine is a cross-linker, which means it, it is going to make a chemical bond with both strands of the DNA and the angular is, is a mono, makes monoadduct when it's irradiated by UV light. So, we, uh, so there were about a thousand of coumarin and about hundreds, few hundreds of furocoumarin. We have managed to isolate uh, uh, 100 of them. So we are really specialists in, in this family of compounds. Just to give you an idea, I, I set up here 24 of uh, the 100 products we've isolated. And to give you an idea of the bioactivity we get from this molecule, can, uh, so the first two ones are the simplest one with no substituent around the core of the, of the furocumarin. But we can see the difference between the angular one and the, and the linear. In, in the linear, the example is, is, is uh, the soralen, and it's a DNA intercalator and cross-linker, which means it makes a uh, link with both strands of the DNA. Uh, it's, it's also an antiplatelet uh, accumulation, so it's, it could be used to thin the blood. Um, and it's been used as well as a reagent in, in research lab to study uh, the, uh, the structure the 3D structure of the DNA to, to, to study the structure linked to the function of the DNA. The angular side uh, is angelicine. It's also a DNA intercalator, but because it's angular, it shapes makes it as a, a monoadduct into DNA strand uh, when it's irradiated by light. And uh, it reacts also with unsaturated fatty acid. So this molecule reacts with DNA. They also react with fatty acid and with membrane protein. So it's been found to, be, uh, to have some activity as an anti-tumor cell. 
Uh, it's used also in lab as a tranquilizer for mice and, and a sedative and anticonvulsant. So these products are, are known. These are the, the most uh, uh, well-known product. Of course, the, it's not the same case with, uh, the, with all of them. The well-known products are also uh, the one who had been developed as uh, uh, th uh, therapeutic drugs. Uh, because of their ability to, uh, to make double bond with DNA, they could slow down the metabolism of the cell. And this molecule had been used to uh, treat some extreme cases of psoriasis and, uh, and, and vitiligo as well. So this is a case of Bergap-10. Uh, Xanthotoxin is used as a therapeutic drug as well. It's uh, uh, in what we call the PV, uh, the Psoralen plus UVA uh, th uh, therapy. And, um, and it's found to be an activator of the cytochrome P450, an inactivator of the P450. P450. The xanthotoxol, which is uh, the equivalent xanthotoxin without the, the methyl, is uh, also used as a therapeutic drug. Uh, it's a radiation sensitizing agent and uh, a serotonin antagonist, a sedative tranquilizing also, as uh, angelicin is. And uh, it shows some uh, activity as uh, anti-proliferation. So this compound were the, the most well-known compound. Um, you have to remember that this, this molecule are all natural. They are uh, quite toxic. Uh, they're all made by the plant as a defense system. So naturally, a lot of activity we found is that they are active against bacterial attack and against viruses as well. And many also um, interact with uh, the cytochrome P450. Uh, they are inhibitor of, of this uh, um, of the cytochrome. So we found that um, bergapton is a skin photosensitizing agent. It is present in citrus oil, which means that when a, a company makes a product, a perfume, out of citrus, uh, because the citrus gets concentrated, you get some quite high concentration of, of this molecule. So there have been recently a lot of uh, activity in researching into methodology, into into developing a way to get rid of this, uh, this toxic agent in final product. So we, uh, so we found that some anti-tumor property as well in, um, in iso, uh, isopampinelin. We found that it induces hepatic, uh, well, some kind of, of cell, hepatic cell. Uh, it's, it's also an in inhibitor of P450. Many of them are uh, antioxidant. Uh, through, through this activity. Uh, the imperatorin was found to inhibit some HIV-1 replication. So they've got some potential uh, use in, uh, in HIV uh, um, uh, cases too. Uh, they found some hepatoprotective activity and is also an inhibitor of the P450, 1AR, 1AB. And a chemopreventive effect because it uh, target the same um, the same pocket in uh, in membrane uh, cell in uh, in cell membrane protein, so uh, so therefore inhibit uh, more uh, active molecule to, to get into the cell by acting as a as a blocking barrier. So many also inhibit the insect uh, cytochrome P450 because of their uh, their design as an anti insect uh, product. But most interestingly for us and for uh, the industry is uh, that many of them are quite unknown. And after the, the 20, there are about 20 products who have some uh, reference in literature. Uh, about 80 have got absolutely no reference in literature. But they are present in plants and they do have bioactivity. And their bioactivity is dependent on the substitution they have around. So you can find some, uh, some surprise. Um, so in a company, we, we have been um, 
uh, extracting this molecule from, uh, from plant and trying to access as much as possible, as many different kinds of furocomarin as possible through two ways. The first way was to access different kinds of plants from the same genus of uh, Rutaceae and Apiaceae, which has the two main family of plants where these compounds are quite in big quantity. The Rutaceae are the family of citrus and lime and lemon, and the Apiaceae is a carrot family. And we, we found uh, hundreds of uh, species of plants that all display some part of the metabolic pathway to obtain the furocomarin, and some are more complex. So we, we managed to get access to quite a rare compound by uh, extracting a uh, uh, more variety of, of, uh, of uh, apiacy. Another way we've been working as well is looking at the metabolic pathway itself and triggering some activity of, uh, of the enzyme by using hormonal uh, induction. And uh, so we are starting now with, uh, with using uh, more um, uh, gene-based uh, technology to, to try to improve some of the metabolic pathway and block some other part of it. It's to, to have access to, to more variety and more quantity of some compound that otherwise come as a trace compound. <coughs> so we've been able to uh, work with plants to extract uh, these fine chemicals, which are quite more than fine, are quite rare chemicals, um, from our laboratory at the university first. Uh, so we had a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of facility for isolation of product uh, purification and characterization as well. Um, so our core competency has been uh, developing around that. And the characterization, we were lucky to uh, have access to all the university equipment, which means uh, we have access to chromatography. We now have, well, I mean, the HPLC and GC and uh, preparative scale chromatography uh, and LCMS to uh, assess the, the identity of the, pro of the product. We also have access to vast range of spectrometer. Um, we do a lot of NMR, uh, uh, 1D and 2D NMR, uh, including the COSI uh, experiment and HMBC and NOISY. But the, peop uh, the people uh, uh, involved in natural product chemistry will, will know a lot about it. And um, we also use v UV Visib, uh, IR, and we also have, um, and we also have used uh, X-ray uh, crystallography to assess the uh, isomer of, of some of these compounds. Um, so now we, we have. Um, we, we, we have developed uh, out of the university into a small startup company, and we, we, uh, we invested into our own equipment, like the HPLC is, is, is now, is now in-house, and, um, and we have started developing a, a, a catalog of products uh, to, uh, to be accessed, and these are uh, 100 Kumarin, which are not uh, available anywhere, else, so we get inquiries from all over the world because the products are there, well, well characterized, and they are really important for uh, the, the uh, scientists working in uh, plant science and, and in food science as well. We also uh, provide service as custom manufacturing because now we have expertise in extraction, fine chemicals. We are at the start, we, we were uh, natural product chemist, so we also have the expertise in synthesis. So we do synthesis or we do extraction, uh, uh, depending on the, on the target molecule. Uh, and of course, we, uh, we provide the characterization and analysis service for, um, uh, for the natural product. So, we, uh, so far, we, we supplied a lot of the, of the cosmetic market. The, our first customer came to us because we had some of our molecules online and they requested list of uh, furocumarin. So we developed our uh, product range uh, with Chanel, who uh, had a specific request in, uh, in about 20 molecules. And then we, uh, we uh, worked also with L'Oreal and LVMH for, for the same molecule. 
And later we discovered that there were proper needs in the cosmetic market. So we then approached a lot of perfumers and we, we then uh, supplied them with the product that they all needed. So we supplied product to Firmenich and Givaudan. And uh, in fact, all the big players in, in, uh, in, the, in the perfume industry uh, had the same need in, in, these fine, in these fine chemicals. And recently, because we've been expanding our catalog of products from the 20 products we started with to now 100, uh, furocumarin and coumarin, we uh, attracted some uh, interest from the food and drink market. And so we started supplying PepsiCo uh, in natural products that are present also in grapefruit. Um, and um, so our, our business now is to supply analytical standard and we uh, supply them uh, to LGC standard, to Intertech, Interchem, to, uh, to chemical suppliers, as well as to direct customers, research institutes such as the, the US Department of Agriculture, the equivalent in, uh, in Israel as well, and, um, and a lot of research uh, group uh, from the US to Japan, uh, going to uh, Singapore and Hong Kong, and, uh, and Korea. So, so we really built our, our business around this uh, really specific um, uh, um, uh, family of products. And, uh, and we are happy to, uh, to use our skills now to, to develop uh, other families of products well, less well known. And uh, so that's, uh, that's why we, we, we came here to, uh, to get a bit of, uh, of your, uh, to understand a bit of the need of, uh, of the, um, uh, the pharmaceutical market to, uh, to, uh, to offer you some, uh, some standard, some, some herbal standard and uh, uh, natural product standard. Okay, so we are exhibiting uh, in stand 8 uh, D74 with uh, other Scottish companies. And uh, thank you for your attention. And if you had uh, some questions, you're uh, welcome to, uh, uh, to go forward. Um, oh, I'm happy to meet you um, at the boot. Thank you.